Hello everyone and welcome to Nature with Gabe, the channel where we connect you to nature and incredible people just like yourself. Today I'm going to be looking for snakes and specifically I'm going to be hiking habitat and using that method to try and find some snakes. Now this is a video as part of a larger series called How to Find Snakes. I already made one video about looking underneath artificial cover which is a great way to find snakes. But today we're going to be doing some hiking. It's perhaps the most difficult, time consuming way to find snakes but also some of the most rewarding, uh, exciting ways to find snakes. So I'm going to start hiking and I'm going to take you guys along uh, and try and teach you a little bit about things to look for, things to think about. Anyway, enjoy the video. Alright, so as I mentioned in the intro of this video, hiking habitat to find snakes can be really difficult. Today I'll be happy if I just find one snake to show you guys. A lot of times you'll go out and you won't find anything, um, but there are certain places and things you can look for uh, that will increase your odds of, of finding something. The first place I want to highlight to look for snakes while you're hiking is along waterways. Now this can be a lake, a river, a creek, a pond, anything that has water is going to be pretty good because snakes oftentimes will come to water to find food, to drink water, to cool down. Uh, it can just be a really great place to, to find them out basking or hunting. And so hiking along a creek or along a lake can be a great way to increase your odds of finding something. The next place that I think is a great place to find snakes is any rocky area. Rock outcroppings like this small one, you know, rocky area along a creek or along a lake, uh, just a pile of rocks in, you know, your backyard. These places not only provide, you know, refuge and a place for snakes to overwinter or cool down or stay away from predators, but it's a place where a lot of other animals come and seek refuge as well a lot of animals that snakes might be seeking out as prey items. And so looking around rocky areas and looking underneath um, and in between the cracks and stuff with a flashlight can be a great way to um, find a snake while you're out hiking. Alright, another thing you're going to want to think about when out hiking for snakes is what direction is the sun hitting? Because the sun plays a big role in, you know, snakes' lives since they're ectothermic and they rely on the sun to warm up and regulate their body temperature. So hiking southern facing slopes because they get the most sun can be a productive way to uh, look for snakes, although they're not only going to be on southern facing slopes. Um, so that's just another thing to think about as you're walking around. I've been looking around these rock outcroppings on the top of these uh, hillsides for over an hour now and I'm not having much luck. It is getting, you know, really quite hot up here and so now I'm going to make my way down to the creek and try and find some snakes down along the creek where it's a little bit cooler right now. All right, so I made it down to the creek and now I'm gonna keep hiking. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, creeks are great because they not only provide a place for snakes to stay cool, um, place for them to uh, get food to eat, uh, but also it gives them a place to dive into the water and get away from predators. And there's often a lot of vegetation, so you can see tons of vegetation around here. And um, it gives place for snakes to hide and other animals to hide. So 
It can be hard to spot snakes uh, in dense vegetation, but it can be a great place to look for them as well. So I'm gonna keep hiking along this uh, creek and hopefully I can find something. Another thing to be on the lookout for when you're searching for snakes is burrows made by other animals. You know, you could look for armadillo burrows, gopher tortoise burrows. These are all wonderful places to look around because snakes might use those as a place of refuge. And so uh, during the day, they might come out and bask around those uh, burrows. And so if you ever see one, you know, do a little circle around it and see if you can spot any snakes nearby. One thing that I think that's extremely important to point out is if you're in an area that is known to have venomous snakes or could potentially have venomous snakes, you want to, you know, be really uh, careful. Uh, I like to carry something with me like my snake hook uh, to kind of hold in front of me when I'm walking in high grass or vegetation, uh, you know, to potentially give any snake that I don't see a heads up that I'm coming um, and potentially, you know, keep myself a little bit safer. All right, so if you haven't seen uh, the first video in this series that was all about how to find snakes underneath artificial cover, um, then you should definitely go check that out. But as I was hiking, I saw this really old uh, freezer or refrigerator, and of course I had to try and um, uh, look underneath it. I was able to tilt the one on its side, and I couldn't see anything underneath that. Uh, but this one right here, I actually um, just opened the old top of it, and there was a really large eastern garter snake sitting um, right on top and I was able to get a little of the footage before it took off and I'll, I'll show you that clip now. Another fantastic spot to be looking for snakes is stump holes. So I'm currently standing in a massive stump hole where this large tree fell over and uplifted some of the soil. Um, but even in places where the top of the tree just falls over and there's still a stump in the ground, uh, the roots eventually rot out creating these holes and these tunnels that snakes love to use. Um, sometimes they'll overwinter in those places and sometimes they just go and use them as a daily refuge. Uh, and they'll come out and they'll hunt around that area. So that's a fantastic place to be on the lookout to try and find some snakes. If you're looking at a stump hole, you should also be looking at the logs that are gonna be right next to that stump hole where the tree fell on the ground. This is another fantastic place to try and locate some snakes. Another thing that I think is really important to keep in mind when you're out hiking habitat looking for anything is, you know, you want to make sure that you're not destroying the habitat in any way. So if you're hiking, be aware you're not stepping on um, plants or just do your very best to, you know, leave as little of an impact on the environment around you as, as you can so that it can be there forever. So I've been out here for about four hours hiking looking along creeks and stump holes, looking near rocky outcroppings, and the only snake I've managed to turn up was that eastern garter snake underneath a piece of artificial cover, that old refrigerator. So that just goes to show you that hiking habitat's a really tough way to find snakes, but when you do find a snake while you're hiking, it's just so satisfying. Um, and you really never know what you're gonna find. I was out at the same place uh, last week and I found two eastern rat snakes just out on the crawl and I was out here for, you know, less than a quarter of the time that I was out today. Um, but yeah, hiking habitat is just a really fun way to get to know an area 
and engage with nature in different levels. Um, it allows you to see things that you might not see if you're out just flipping tin um, or road cruising looking for snakes. I'd encourage you guys to get outside and try hiking some habitat to look for snakes on your own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Be on the lookout for more videos from this series, How to Find Snakes. Uh, just remember, nature is powerful and so are you. Have a great day.